Alright, Shalom, Shalom. Alright. We are the Hebrew Israelites. Alright, prophesying the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom. Better known as uh, Babylon the Great, aka America. Alright, but before uh, I begin holding camp, I'm gonna turn face the east. All praise on the Lord to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Yahweh Khan Alright, the honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, who teach well. All right, and a sincere salutations to hopeful elect Akim for pushing his word all throughout the four corners of the earth. May Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakakwadash, have mercy upon you, brothers, man. So, once again, prophesying the downfall of this wicked ass place, Babylon the Great, whack, -a uh, whack ass America. And they made a, uh, you know, they, they made a, uh, like a statue of a weird ass looking bird, but, you know, it's that spirit because. Hey, you know, it's a good place to put the sign up. You know? <clears throat> well, we're just going to go into, um, you know, the multitude perishing. All right, the mo really the, the, the multitude not, not having that long. Okay? And who, and who is the multitude? That's the people... Here upon the earth, okay. Most of these people that you see on the day to day ain't finna make it. All right, the Lord, hey, the Lord is basically gonna take them out of the picture, okay. So I'm gonna go to the book of Second Ezra nine and. 22. Alright, so this is the book of Second Esdras, chapter 9. I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna start at verse one. So this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter nine, and verse one. All right, it reads, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. When thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, right, which is prophecy. That's why we're speaking on the things that are happening before they happen. And then when they happen, what do we do? We speak it on it." We're basically confirming what's being, uh, you know, spoken through the spirit of Yahweh Okay, through this, through this book, and through the hopeful elect Israelite men who are uh, reading from this book. And only the children of Israel uh, uh, have a have a right to this book, so to speak. You have a multitude of people here on the earth that believe they they hold uh, some claim to these scriptures. I wish they don't, man. Okay? It says, Then shalt thou understand that it is the, is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we in that we in that time, hey, where the Lord is about to come back. Okay? The Lord gonna be out the Lord gonna be out here killing. Okay, the Lord gonna be out here hacking, slashing. Dashing, okay, lasers cut, lasers cut people in half. It's about to, get, it's about to get real serious out here, okay. And it reads, verse three. Therefore, when there shall, slacky. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. So look at this place. Is this place not uh, in a complete uproar? You niggas are losing it. Okay? You are, lo you are losing. You're losing your damn mind. Alright? You go on the internet. You, all you see is more violence. More, he more hell being caught. More death. More, dis more destruction. And these things are being televised on a, on a wide scale. 
you know, you see it, uh, uh, Jake, Jake getting brutalized on the street by 12, which ultimately that's the judgment of the Heavenly Father, you know, and that, that's, that's what the Lord is doing, man. See, it's, a, it's people walking around on the earth right now that their future judgment, okay, is to be, uh, uh, pummeled. Okay, to today, you know, to they flatline, man. This gonna be some of these people, some of some of these people's judgment. Okay, is to get beat down to they're no longer breathing. Whether that's uh, whether that's going to be uh, twelve, whether that's going to be inter Interpol, you know, you uh, uh, UN troops, EU troops. NATO troops. All right, that that beat down, that beat down is coming. He saw, he saw not playing no games, man. He saw coming, he saw coming for a vengeance. Or he, he saw us coming forth with vengeance. You know, it's like this, this nigga is bloodthirsty, man. He don't want to see, he don't want to see the people just just walking around. You know, quote unquote, having fun anymore. Okay, Esau's desire is to get rid of as many of you as possible, right? In order to bring forth his agenda. Okay, which really that's the Most High. He's just not gonna uh, allow Esau Edom to be in rulership forever. See what we see right now is just a playback, like the elder apostles constantly go into. This is just a playback. This is a prequel. Okay, and in this prequel, Esau Edom, okay, rises to power, comes out of the bottomless pit, okay, takes over the world through his renaissance art, through his renaissance music, which basically, which basically Jake, Jake did all those things. Jake created that music. Jake created that art, but he put, but he, he put his face and he put his name on it, man. All right, and it says, I'm continuing on. Second Ezra, nine and four. Then shalt thou well understand that the most high speck of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So from the jump, from the start, the Heavenly Father set up his elect. Heavenly Father set that up, okay? The, this is the elect, all right? Hey, the elect is going to speak on this, that, and the third. The spirit of Pai, and it's going to come to pass, man. That's the important part, okay, about uh, 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 being a prophet. Prophesying. What kind of prophet would you be if you weren't prophesying, man? You know, we, pro we prophesying. We said, hey, the MOTB is coming. Right? Is coming. All, right all this, uh, you know, these Hellcats, Ferraris and shit. Oh, that's coming to an end, man. We're about to be in a time in which the people, man, the people are going to, uh, uh, they're going to desire to see food, man. They're going to desire these little small little treats that they have. Yet, slowly but surely, we saw Edom is taking that away, man. All right, it says, let me read that again through the Spirit. Uh, second Ezra, chapter 9, to verse 4. Then shalt thou well understand that the most high speck of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, for like as all that is made in the world at the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. So the end is being manifest. That's why we're, we're, we don't give a shit about the opinions of these people, man. Okay? This the end. This, the, this, this absolutely, this absolutely very well is, uh, you know, could be, hey, the last, the last year, the last year being here. Okay, being here in this wicked ass place, Babylon the Great, 
being amongst these, these fucking wicked people. Right? Being around these, these heathens. Okay? Two-thirds of Israel that have taken on the likeness of the heathen. Has taken on the custom of the heathen. says let me read that again 2nd Ezra chapter 9 and verse 5 says for like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end so this had a beginning hey man even uh, Esau coming into power okay that had a beginning cool whatever now we have to end you had your chance to uh, shine man like when you watched uh, The Longest Yard, and you know, Brucey, okay, when, when it was Brucey's time to step up, what did Brucey say? It's Brucey's time to shine, man. You know? It's Jake's, it's Jake's time to shine, man. Okay? It's, it's time, it's high time. It's high time. Okay, that the nation of Israel be the top nation here upon the earth, which they already, you know, were from the get-go. But now what is being made manifest? Uh, people are starting to see it now. Right? People are saying, okay, yeah, okay, the heathen is going into slavery. Alright, you got different uh, TikToks. Alright, they're on TikTok talking about, okay, slavery. Okay, they're on TikTok talking about the heathen. This is something that's continuing to happen, man. And these ain't, these ain't Jake's that's speaking about this. You know, uh, uh, he saw Edom, he's speaking on it. Right, these other heathens, they speaking on it. They speaking on it in, in a way, in, in such a way that you know they they know it's coming. We know it's coming. You know, we can see it. We can we can see it with twenty with twenty twenty vision. All right, Second Ezra chapter nine and verse six. Even so, the times also of the highest have claimed beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. So, so hey, plain, plain beginnings. This plain to see. Okay? Like Elder Apostles constantly speak on uh, uh, the chip. Nigga, if you can't see the chip, you know, you, the, the Lord obviously has blinded you. Because that's plain. <laughs> it's like it. I may be getting, I may be getting sick. I, you know, I don't know. Let me read that again. Second Ezra chapter nine and verse. It's locked. In verse six. Even so, the times also of the highest have planned beginnings and wonders and powerful works. Hey, these prophecies coming to pass. The Lord setting up his elect. These are things that are coming to pass swiftly. Swiftly. These are things that we want to continue to see. Okay? Swiftly. This bugged out, this bugged out that statue, man. This is what we got. This is what we got to deal with. We got to walk. We got to walk around seeing shit like this. Shit look unnatural, man. But what? But who, who said it? Could, who said it could be here? Esau, Edom. You see, okay, if Jake, <laughs> let's say, let's say Jake just want to put a fucking uh, park bench. Let's say Jake want to put a park bench right here. It would be an issue, right? And you have to have permission. You have to have permission from the so-called white man. Technically, if we get technically, I have permission from the so-called white man to be out here. Right, right, your uh, uh, First Amendment right. Okay, and that's why it's gonna have to get to the point where they're, they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to suspend that. They're gonna have to draw that back, right? Because Jake, Jake can't keep uh, teaching this truth. <laughs> that's what Esau saying in his mind. Okay. That's his, that's his desire, man. 
to basically eliminate the children of Israel. Alright, so it says, 2 Answers chapter 9 and verse 6 again. <laughs> That's the Spirit. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works. Alright, so uh, us, right? Lord's will were of that number. Us from the jump, right? After after Yahushai was created, Yahushai, okay, created the elect. Okay, and alongside uh, uh, and alongside Yahushai, the elect created, okay, all these different things you see in the earth, like the water, okay, the trees, you know, so on, so on and so forth. You know, so Lord's will, we were there from, from the jump, from the beginning, man. Okay, help, helping our Lord, being a being a helpmate. Well, through the Spirit, being wives, being brides of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, you know? Being uh, faithful witnesses, because that, that's what we've been uh, called to be. We've been called to be faithful witnesses, man, all the way until the end. It says, verse 7, And everyone that shall be saved, they shall be able to escape by his works, and by faith, whereby he, he have believed. So, a faith, right? Faith is given to us, okay, and, and, it's, show, and it's showing forth. We believe, okay, we, we believe in the words of Yahweh Shemayashah. So now what are we going to do? Okay, we, we're going to show, okay, we're going to prove. It says, let me read that again. Second Ezra 7 and 9. It's like, Second Ezra chapter, chapter 9 verse 7. It's like, forgive me. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. Yeah, so, so the only way for you to get out of this is for the Lord to allow you to escape it because he's the one who's causing it. All right? It says, And by faith, whereby ye have belief, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So the elect, the elect has been sanctified. The elect, you know, has been put uh, in, a, in a special classification uh, all his own, man. The, the elect from the jump, okay, are seen as the, the, the cream of the crop. Okay, the, the, at, at the top, man. You got a lot of these people, that, you know, especially these these women. And, uh, ain't no uh, uh, ain't no other bitch like me, right? I'm one in a million. What else? Uh, these bitches can't do it like me. All these bitches copying me. All these bitches want to be me. Who this bitch thinks she is? All that, man. You you you, you prideful, not knowing that the the Lord got you. You know, at the at the very bottom, man. Okay, especially the so-called black woman. See, the so-called black woman is at her is at her worst. Is at her absolute worst right now. Yet she believes, okay, she's in good case. Nigga, you out your mind. Alright? Have you seen some of y'all, man? You know, and this is not a this is not a, 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 a well no Salaki. This is a bash the so-called black woman fest. Uh, yeah. So Salakia, this is a bash the so-called black woman fest. I was gonna say it wasn't, but it is though. Okay? But but, but y'all need that. Okay, most y'all ain't gonna listen, but y'all need that. Okay. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse verse 9. Then shall they be in a pitiful case, but you now have abused my ways. Yeah, pitiful. The, hey man, these people gonna be in, in a pitiful fucking case. But this, but see, this is going to be, um, this is going to renew our faith. 
once you see once you see the people you know got your arm got your arm hanging off leg leg hanging off all right no no medical attention <laughs> that's when you gonna know you in a pitiful case okay when these, when these people don't have their, their cell phones that's a big distracting wi wi-fi cell phone signal and see once all that shit go out the way tv you're gonna be faced uh with a reality that's why when you got a lot of people who are locked up man they you get a reality check for that you ain't watching no tv you stuck you know you look you looking within you know the walls man See, that's going to be a majority of these people. They're going to be trapped. They're going to be trapped within their own mind. Man. Because the scriptures speak about their conscience being seared with a hot iron. These people can't, the, 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 the Lord, uh, uh, the Lord can't uh, uh, show them things, man. Okay. Anyways, it says 2 Ezra chapter 9 and verse, verse 9. Once again, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Hey, so when you niggas start dying, it ain't, it ain't nothing on us, man. Okay, we gave we gave the warning out. We did we did what we had to do, and we moving on. All right, while you got people in the street, okay, fall, falling out, dying, arms getting blown off and shit. We, hey, we gonna be hey feet kicked up. You know, it's gonna be a couple, of, not a couple of women by our side. It's gonna be you know fair amount of women by our side, you know, we're going to be drinking a little bit of wine. That is, it's literally, now of course certain brothers are going to, you know, catch a certain amount of hell. There's going to be certain brothers that, you know, they're going to be relatively cool all the way up until the Lord comes back, right? So it says, verse 10, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. So the more benefits receive in this society the less praise you give in the Lord you see these people receive these benefits this is this is what turns you uh, uh, spoiled this is what turns you uh, rock right it says verse 11 and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised them. so ultimately you despising the word you ain't despising us we don't give a fuck we hey we set we set up to do our job just like when a cop pulls you over he doing his fucking job man that's our job okay bring out the word keep it moving all right whatever whatever happens to the people after that that's all new shit you know it's 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 no it's no big deal for us to be out here teaching. Yet the people they 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 despise this word, man. which is which is cool. Man. Hey man, it's all good. If you don't, hey, if you don't believe in this word, hey, fuck you. That's how we feel. Hey, if you ain't down with this word, you ain't down with how about you shine. Take take your ass on, man. Kick kick rocks till your toes bleed. That's how we feel. Okay. You're not the elect of the people that are on that side. Let me refer back to the sign. And we don't care. We don't, we don't care about you, man. See, the the, uh, the idea of us uh, not caring it it, it bothers you people, man. Because oh, because ultimately, okay, let's say let's say, okay, we we, we preach that everybody can can make it. What the fuck? People, people somebody got to get destroyed. Somebody got to get jacked up, okay, and better better them than us, man. Because if because if they could trade if they could trade places with you Israelites, if these heathens could trade places with you Israelites, you damn right they would trade. Every Moabite on the planet would say, okay, yeah, I I would like to be the Israelites. Please trade me. Yet the Lord didn't choose them. Second right? so Ezra chapter nine and verse. Verse 12. The same must know it after death by pain. Damn. Be it put to, be it put to death painfully. Right? And <laughs> shamefully. You had a guy, man, he, he got balled to death by a camel. That's a that's a fucking horrible death, man. He got slung all over the place. 
I don't know, brother's probably seen that video. You know, yeah, he, he punched a camel in the face. Lord put the spirit on that camel to tear his ass up, man. See, the Lord ain't out here playing. The Lord gonna have certain animals we, we ain't seen in a little bit. You know, the Lord is gonna pull out, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna pull out all types of animals from out the woodwork, so to speak. So you're gonna see certain um, uh, tigers, di different things you haven't seen before. Right? The, the, you know, these, and not even uh, tigers, man. Things that you have never seen before, man. The Lord has unimaginable uh, terrors waiting on these people, man. And they waiting. You see, not only that, but the Lord can just create these things, man. Okay? People gonna be running, and all of a sudden, a creature is gonna fucking materialize from the ground. This, this, this is what we gonna be witnessing and seeing, and we gonna be happy for it. Hey, Rock, tell you how about you now? Shot as we hear the crunch of the bones. Okay, the people ah, the women ah, the kids screaming. Okay, motherfuckers tripping over, tripping over themselves. We gonna be happy. Hey, Rock, tell you how about you now? Shot. Okay, may the Lord continue to do that. That's what we want. You damn, you damn right. The, hey. The more, the more death and destruction and pain that comes to Babylon the Great, the closer we are to this place ultimately fucking being destroyed. That's what we want. That's the end result. We want this place to be destroyed. And, and see, the Lord has set that up in such a way in which we're going to be able to see that. We're going to be able to see that in real, in real life. In real time. We're going to be able to literally see this place explode. Right? Like something like 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 something you've never seen before, man. Right? Like when you watch a fireworks show, you know, words can't describe how how big uh, these explosions are gonna be. Hey, you got some, you got some fucking weirdos out here today. Alright, you got and that's another thing, dude. Spirit poppy, how about me out of shot? The Lord is gonna put the spirit on all these weird ass uh, uh, incels, okay, these guys that ain't getting nothing, they ain't getting none, we're gonna put the spirit on them and start getting busy, alright, thousands, thousands of Jeffrey Dahmers out here, man, it's just gonna get that fucking bad, man, okay, <clears throat> uh, second Ezra chapter 9 and verse, verse 13, and therefore be thou not curious, how the ungodly shall be punished. Like, man, how's the Lord going to kill and destroy all these people? We don't need to worry about that. All right, what, what percentage of people are going to get mauled to death? What percentage of people are, are going to get shot? What percent, you know, how, how, many, how many people are going to trip and fall to their death? No, man, we don't need to be worried about that. All we need to know is that the elect is going to make it. Once again, fuck everybody else, Excuse my language, but that's just what it is. You gotta be, you gotta be in that mode. You know, certain people that were around on the daily, well, most, it's a lot of people. Let me go ahead and say most. Most of these people that we see on the day, they, they done, they through. Might as well forget about it. Okay. It says uh, verse. 13, uh, once again, because I didn't finish the end of it. It's not good. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 13. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when. So we know that they're going to get it. It's, it's, you know, it's a matter of time. It's inevitable. Okay? But inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Whose the world is and for whom the world is created. So the Lord created Okay, the earth for the elect. The Lord didn't create the earth for you either. Now, now ultimately, you you serving us, you serving us in the kingdom. You know that's your purpose. You know, but but your your uh, purpose was not to you know the earth just solely to be yours for the Israelites uh, to be up under your feet. That's not how we doing, Jack. Okay, we we seeing a change. We seeing a change in the tide. 
Okay, you and you can acknowledge it. Or you cannot acknowledge it. Ultimately, it, it don't matter. Ultimately, it don't matter. This place is through. Okay, it's, 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 it, we we here. We here. We at the end, man. All right. It says, verse fourteen. Then answered I and said, I have said before, and now do speak. I will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. So mathematically, you're going to have more people dying than you're going to have people surviving. And anybody who does survive this here in America, whoever survives and gets beamed up into that into them chariots, those are the elect of Israel. You're not going to see a Moabite in the chariot. You know, it's... <laughs> That just pisses you off just thinking about it, man. I'm not fucking sitting in the chair with you, with you, with you G-O-O-K's, man. You dirty, smelly, uh, smelly-ass East Indians. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Once we get transformed into the new bodies, we, we are we are in them chairs, man. That's when it's time. That's when it's time to shine, man. That's when it's going. That's when it's going to be known. Okay, this is this is the elect of Israel. It's going to be. Um, uh, un unmistakable, right? Alright, this is second Ezra's chapter 9 and verse and verse 16. It says, like as a wave is greater than a drop. Alright, so you got a wave, you got a wave and you got a drop. That's the that's the remnant. That's the small remnant of people that are to be saved. Alright? Because it's only it's only so many spots. Like we used to play uh musical chairs as a kid if you got if you got two musical chairs and you got eight people six people gotta get eliminated that's a, that's see that's how the lord sees it Stati statistically people gotta die statistically okay so many women statistically are gonna die giving birth to a child are going to you know uh you know suffer a grievous injury certain you know certain individuals uh Passing away and car crashing. These are things that it's it's an inevitability, right? That's part of that. That's part of that uh, wave. That's part of that wave. Like if you got a big ass bucket and you walking with the bucket, you may have just a. Uh, you may drop the bucket. Are you drop the bucket? Water spill everywhere. Yeah, you got that little. T you always got that little tiny bit, right? Like if you if you got a cup and you spill the cup, you always have that tiny little remnant left in the in the in the cup and when you drink it you like man that, that was that was amazing that's the best part see that's how the lord sees his elect yet in the people's minds uh every everyone is involved right nah that's that's not the case man the lord is actually dealing with a very small amount of men women and children the children of israel All right so second Ezra chapter nine and verse Verse 17, and he answered me, saying, Like as the field is, so is also the seed. As the flowers be, such are the colors also. Such as the workman is, such also is the work. And the husbandman is himself, so is his husbandry also. For it was the time of the world. Woohoo! Here we go. So you serve your purpose. Okay? These two people walk back Edomites. They do. Not, nothing we can do, man. Okay, you, li you live and you live and you die. And we can't do nothing for you. And even if we could, we wouldn't want to. Alright? Okay, may the Most High destroy you, so-called white people. May the Most High destroy two-thirds of Israel. May the Most High destroy you heathens, you other nations. Okay? We're going to get we're gonna, we're gonna get to see that IMAX 3D. You know, <laughs> better than IMAX 3D. We gonna see. We gonna see it firsthand. Okay. Beautiful. It says verse 18. And now, when I prepared the world which was not yet made, even for them to dwell in Slaki. Even for them to dwell in that now live, no man spake against me. 
for then everyone obeyed, but now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed and by a law which is unsearchable rid themselves. See, yeah, you basically taking yourself out. You following, you basically following Esau, right? That that wicked, dirty ass seed. Okay? You you follow you follow them. So now what's your reward? Your, your reward is basically to be, you know, tread down, man. Tread down to be to be in a low estate. And that low estate is getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. Okay, what we do? We praising the Lord more and more. All right, man, the Heavenly Father, okay, hey, continue to put hell on your damn devil, man. That's what we desire to see. As the days go by, you damn right. Let's get that popping. Let's, let's see you in a low and pitiful case. Amos 8 and 8. It's like it. Amos 8 and 1. It says, Thus hath the Lord, the power of our shame, how shy, shown unto me. And behold, a basket of summer fruit. And he said, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, a basket of summer fruit. Then said the Lord unto me, The end is come upon my people of Israel. I will not again pass by them anymore. Okay? So in the time in the times of the fruit being ripe, okay, the Lord, hey, the Lord going Lord gonna make it happen, man. The Lord is gonna send his son. Okay? You imagine how important of a job that is, you know, for, for the Heavenly Father's Son, okay, to take people out, man. That's a, that's a real dishonorable death to have, you know, your Havashah Mashiach put you to death. That's horrible, man. That's horrible. You know, and it's going to happen to certain Israelites. Okay, then once they, you know, once they're born again <clears throat> in the kingdom, through the loins of the elect, they're going to be like, damn, man, I was tripping. Okay, the Lord's will, we're of that elect number. We're going to be like, yep, yeah, yeah you, you were. It's all good now, bro. Call all y'all about Shimei Al Shai. They're going to say, call all y'all about Shimei Al Shai. I don't know exactly where it is in uh, in uh, in Isaiah, but it, it basically speaks on speaks on the same thing. into Egypt and have not asked that my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh but to trust in the shadow of Egypt not trusting in Yahweh Shem Yahweh okay trusting in, trusting in this devil trusting in this devil's society okay being a part being a part of this system well basically basically being in league with the beast Okay? You basically, you, you're basically a worshiper. You're a worshiper of, of this beast, of this, of this system. I can't remember exactly where, um, where it speaks about that. Since I don't, and since I don't know through the spirit, I'm gonna move on. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna go down um, uh, some of these lists, uh, scriptures that were uh, written down.
at uh, Isaiah 51, speaking about following uh, righteousness. So, you know, through the Spirit, since I'm already in Isaiah. Tarakia. Isaiah 51. Now, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna start off with one, because the point is in Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord. So hearken, listen. Listen, hey, because the Lord is only going to speak for so long, okay, through his men. Then what is he going to do? He's going to put that spirit of silence. Hey, really, uh, uh, that famine of the word really is the Lord just not speaking through his men. Now, you're going to have brothers, you know, wherever they are, still speaking the words of Yahweh about Shem You know, brothers going to be amongst brothers in certain instances and lift the brothers up. But as far as being on the highways and byways and, and, and uh, uh, reaching out to the hopeful elect of Israel, it's not, that's not going to be happening. It says... Look unto the rock whence ye are hewn, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bare you. For I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. For the Lord shall comfort Zion. Which really, the Lord is going to comfort the elect. It says, He will comfort all her waste places. And he will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert at the garden of the Lord. And beautifying us. He's going to beautify us, man. He's going he's to make us beautiful, man. It says in her desert like the garden of the Lord, joy and gladness shall be found therein. Thanksgiving in the voice of melody. So also the land of Israel, okay, upon the upon the Lord, you know, coming back, right, you heathen going into captivity. Okay. Hey, it's gonna be beautiful once we, you know, see once we see things being built up by the hands of you heathens, we we beating the shit out of you. It's gonna be beautiful, man. Alright, and it's gonna be constant, you know, constant additions being added on, you know, that's something to look forward to, seeing you need this in subjection, building up the kingdom by hand, okay, ain't no cranes, ain't, ain't, ain't no bobcat lifts, you about to get, hey man, you about to get some manual labor in, Jake had to do it, <clears throat> so why should you be any different, you damn devils, and you need this too, okay, it says, <clears throat> Isaiah 51 and 4. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation. So it's elect. For a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people. So we see these laws, statutes, and commandments, we see these judgments as a beacon. Like we see it as a light, you know. This is some, this is something to you know to look forward to. The judgments of Yahweh is something to look forward to, All right? Because seeing seeing the people suffer, that's from them not following the law sections of commandments. As far as the, uh, the Israelites are concerned, because the Lord don't really care, you know, if uh, if you heathens, you, you know. Do what y'all do, whatever. It says, verse 5, it says, My righteousness is near. My salvation is gone forth. And my arms shall judge the people. The isles shall wait upon me and on my arm shall they trust. Hey, so we trust with the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai is set forth. Okay, the elder, elder apostles, great millstone. 
okay? Elder bishops, elder priests, you know? Well, you ministers of the word, man, you sincere brothers, you know, to the spirit of Bobby Hobbs, Chanel Shot. says verse 6, lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath. Woo! For the heavens shall vanish away like smoke. And the earth shall wax old like a garment. They that dwell therein shall die in like manner. So this place, right, they're speaking about that. It's speaking about this current age, this current rulership waxing old. Alright, the earth ain't just gonna be old and, and, and moldy. No, oh, man. Okay, the Lord, after this so this self-proclaimed white man is out of power, it's gonna be looking more luscious and more beautiful than it ever has been, man. It's gonna make the Garden of Eden look like a like a two-star resort. Continuing Isaiah 52 and 6. And the earth shall wax old like a garment. And they shall dwell there, and they that dwell therein shall die in like matter. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. So ain't nobody kicking out the ain't nobody kicking out uh, the most high son. You got some things to ask for, you damn heathens. Right? Putting on putting on Lord to death, man. That's something that's something to answer for. Okay? reads it's not. verse 7 hearken unto me ye that know righteousness the people in whose heart is my law right which is in mind fear ye not the reproach of men neither be ye afraid of their uh Revelings. You know, Jake coming up. What nigga? Forget all that, man. And don't and don't worry about the you know, don't worry about their weird, weird ass questions. And you know, Jake, even Jake that claimed to be in the truth, they had some weird ass questions, man. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna mix mention them. I'm not gonna mention them by name. Like, I don't I don't know his name. But like like the elder apostles, like the call them, man, the Mississippi bad men. Y'all niggas are crazy. <laughs> the Mississippi bad men, man. You asking all, you asking all these fucking weirdo questions. Well, 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 if if your house shy, if your house shy is the king, then then how, how can you know we be kings? You know, and I, and I I forget his specific question. It was bugged out, man. Fucking bug out. shy is on top. Everybody else is gonna be up under him, man. It's not really that hard to fathom. You know, you're gonna have Yahoo Shy, you're gonna have King David, so on and so forth. But each but each man is gonna be a king in his own right. You know? Under Yahweh Shim Shai. And what he was trying to say is basically we trying to make ourselves uh, at a higher status than the Lord. You out your damn mind, man. Who would do that? Okay? Well, really, that's you niggas. Because you you taking the men that have been uh, given this uh, given this, this top leadership and you basically saying that they ain't nobody. And it's, it's funny because when they start the camp, if you can call it camp, Basically, they say the same salute, minus giving double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Are you skipping over that, man? You can't, you can't do that. Anyways, Isaiah 51 and verse 8. 
for the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness shall be forever, my salvation from generation to generation. So, calling the Lord coming back. Alright, that's salvation on salvation, man. Lord gonna come back, he ain't never gonna leave. See, Lord came on the scene over 2,000 years ago. Okay, he had to leave. To do what? Fulfill prophecy of coming back. And the and second time around, staying. Hey, hey, permanently. Permanent, permanent residence. Ain't, ain't, ain't gonna be uh, an eviction notice. You know, you you wait, you, know, you wake up in the kingdom, you go to your door, it's an eviction notice. Hell no, nah, man. That's crazy as hell. Isaiah 51 and verse 9. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake as in the ancient days. In the generations of old, so we taking on, we taking on those customs, man. I got a smile on my face thinking about it. Us being out on the highways and byways, like our like our ancestors, so to speak, man. What's the average nigga doing? Wickedness, just like his ancestors. Being a nigga, you know. It's got to be more to life than this. When you see the people, man, it's like this this is what this what y'all are here for, this is what you're alive for, man. It's horrible. Alright. Going down to well, it's still at night. Continuing on. Art thou not it that hath cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? Art thou not it which hath dried the sea, the waters of the great deep, that hath made the depths of the sea a way for the ransom to pass over? Yeah, man. We are those men coming back, man. Starting off with Elder Apostle Har, Elder Apostle Bar, Elder Apostle Aramla, Elder Apostle Raka, you know, different elder bishops. You know, you know these these uh, uh, elder elder priests, el elder high priests. You know, elder brothers, brothers. You know, even you guys who came into the truth one year ago. You know, you out on the highways and byways, teaching in sincerity and in faith, man. You helping to build, right? The kingdom. You you. You helping to build uh, the temple, you know. The temple is being built up, you know, with spiritual bricks, man. Spiritual brick and mortar. Like, like you have uh, masons, you have masons on the left hand. Okay, we are builders on the right hand. Through the, through the spirit and power and direction of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know? It says, Verse 11, Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return. Beautiful. And come with singing unto Zion. And everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy. And sorrow and mourning shall flee away. So we're not going to have to deal with, the, you know, with these uh, inconveniences, man. We're not going to have to deal with seeing you damn devils on top. The Lord is going to make us beautiful, man. So going from Isaiah 51 and 11, uh, I'm now going to 
Revelation 14 and 1. Roughly how about Shion shot for allowing me to find, you know, what I was looking for, good spirit. It says, and I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion with him, 140 and 4,000. Having his father's name written in their foreheads, not a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder, and I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song of the hundred and forty-four hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. So once again, from the jump, the Lord had his elect. The Lord had the men that he was dealing with all the way at the at the beginning of all this, you know, at the you know creation of the earth. The Lord had men, right? The Lord has men that he's dealing with. Okay? It's apparent. You know, some of the men. That you see out, out here on the highways and byways, you know, are of that 144,000, you know, in, in the one thirds, you know. And once again, you know, Lord's will, I'm of that number. Lord's will, you sincere brothers are of that number. That's the point. That's the, uh, that's ultimately the goal to reach. Okay, is to be of the elect. You don't, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to be last place, third place, not even second place. You want to be, you want to be first place. You want to excel, right? That's the point. That's the point of this word to excel. This ultimately, this word catapults you. Okay, from the beginning, you had the one hundred forty-four thousand, right? Which catapult, catapulted what creation here on the earth. Right? Alongside the Lord, helping to create the things, you know, that, that we see, like, once again, the trees, the air, that's something that's not seen, yet it's, it's created, you know? All the way down to, you know, different bacteria, that's something, that's something that is created. Okay, so it says, verse... Verse 4, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. It says, these are they which follow the Lamb, whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh Shemiah and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh Shemiah so, you know, not falling into these different uh, philosophies, you know, changing your mind up. Right? The Lord speaks about his men being in one accord. You know, one having a uh, one track mind. You know? Right? All towards what? All towards the return of the Lord. If we all speak in different things. How is the Lord going to return, man? Right? Are you going to, now, obviously, you got all these different people. You know, you got Lutherans. Methodist Seventh Day Event. You got all these different people saying, you know, a handful of different things. Yet, yet, who, who is in, who is on the same accord? The elect of Israel, starting, starting off with the Elder Apostles, Great Millstone. Okay. So it says, Revelation fourteen and and six. I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven. Having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. So, within these different nations and people and whatnot, you have the elect of Israel scattered, you know, scattered, okay, all around the globe. They got this movie that came out, I can't remember the name, but it was people that were uh, special, right, all throughout the world. And some sort of event happened, and uh, you know their eyes uh, glowed blue. 
Yeah, which basically is, is just like a, um, uh, the elect. That's basically what it's kind of saying is uh, these different people are the elect, you know, and they, they're trying to hunt, hunt them down. I can't remember, uh, I can't remember what the name of the movie is, but it was, it was a pretty, it was a pretty good movie, man, you know? But that's what they desire to do, right? To, to make that uh, not a factor, to make, to make the elect not exist, you know? To take, to take the elect out of the equation, you know? To remove, to remove the elect, that's, that's their uh, hope, that's their plan, which it's not, it's not going to happen. to Micah. This is Micah chapter 2 and verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. All right, so that's how we've, that's how we've catapulted. All right, that's how we catapulted. That's how we have uh, rose above our enemy, so to speak. Us understanding who we are. Us understanding who we come from. Okay, that we are the children of Israel. And Lord's will, we are the elect of the children of Israel, you know? Hey, okay, and you did take them by violence. Did you not rape, rob, and murder the children of Israel? Okay? Did you not continue to oppress them? Do you not continue to do that to this day, to this very day? You step upon the, 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 the necks of the children of Israel. Okay, with, with glee, with gladness in your heart. Okay? And that's what makes you the damn devil. You have no you have no regard. Uh, for human life, so to speak. You know, here, here it is. They want to speak up against us, saying, "We okay, we don't, you know, you don't care about the human race. You don't care about this. You don't care about that." Meanwhile, this damn devil is destroying everybody. This damn devil is killing everybody. All right, through the through the food, the water, these different things that people have taken. Okay, the juice, the juicy juice. The, 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 you know, the, the, the max water, you know, the max thrax. That's you. That's you, E. You don't, you don't want who's pushing that. You don't want who's pushing, uh, you know, a certain amount of children in each household. Okay, you can only have two children in your household at a time. That's you pushing that shit in different parts of the world, man. Cause you know that's that's not Jake's style. Jake don't get out like that, man. Jake got multiple women. Okay, Jake got multiple children. That's how Jake get down. Man. So ultimately, you going against what the Most High said, man. The Most High said to be fruitful and to multiply. You know. It's lucky. Micah chapter 2 and verse 3. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, against his family do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks, ye going into slavery. <laughs> Neither shall ye go haughtily, for this time is evil. What is that? What is that time, man? What is that time? That's that time of your, ass, your red ass going into captivity. So I'm going to read. I'm going to read Obadiah and I just passed by it. I'm going to read the part.
part where you're uh, rounded up and, and fucking burned. Now I'm going to go to uh, Psalms, the 149th chapter. Speaking about you being in chains, starting off with your elite. You elite, you top heads of uh, Esau, Edom, the dukes of, of Edom. Alright, this is Obadiah 1. Verse 17, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. So all, all the you know the gold, the silver, all that, that's ours. Okay, it says, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it. And they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, and they of the plain the Philistines. And they shall possess the fields of Ephraim, and the fields of Samaria. Benjamin shall possess Gilead. And the captivity of this host of children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, even unto Zarephath, and the captivity of Jerusalem which is in Sepharad, shall possess the cities of the south. And Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. And the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Right? So all that, man, the, the land that was, you know, formerly, formerly belonged to you Canaanites, you fucking heathens, right? That's going to belong to Israel, the land that once formerly belonged, okay, to, to the self-proclaimed white man, Esau, Edom. That's going to be ours, too. You're not going to have, you literally not going to own anything. Hey, hey, uh, like, what's his name says? You will own nothing, and you will like it. It's going to be you damn devils. You will own nothing. Except you, you're not going to like it. You're going to be uh, uh, gnashing your teeth, pulling your hair out, Okay? Fucking Jake. <clears throat> Let me read uh, verse 21 again. Obadiah 1 and 21. And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. And the kingdom shall be the Lord's. You know, the elect the elect is going to, you know, the elect is going to be on top, man. The elect, hey, we're all going to know who the 144,000 is. All right now is now is the Lord going to show, okay, this number this number, 75,222. We don't know. I don't know. What we will know is the 144,000 are going to shine bright. The 144,000 are going to look different uh, from the one-thirds. You know? And the one, the one-thirds is going to look different from the two-thirds, man. It definitely look different from you heathen. See, heathen ain't going to have no glow. Okay, now, you know, I'm just saying this as a man through spirit power of Yahweh Even, even the prettiest heathen, even the prettiest, you know, you know, you know, Lucy Lou looking uh, heathen woman. Okay, the prettiest woman here that's a heathen is going to look ugly in comparison to the heathen women in the kingdom, right? You know, because because the heathen in the kingdom. Either in the kingdom, they're not gonna be eating shrimp, crab, pork, lobster. You know what I mean? They go, especially after <laughs> after a certain amount of time, you they constantly get beaten and subjection. You know? They're gonna they're gonna look a certain way, man. You're not gonna see no. You're not gonna see no uh, uh, obese either. You're not gonna see no o, uh, obese Israelite, man. Obesity is going to be a, uh, a thing of the past. All you women, you know, you concerned about your weight. You're not going to be able to get overweight in the kingdom. You're going to be perfect. Right? Be, a, be, and part of being perfect is not dying. In order for something to be perfect, in order for something to uh, to not be able to change, it's got to be it's got to be perfect. That's what makes the Heavenly Father perfect. He can't, he cannot change. 
right? His prophecy, his prophecy is law. His prophecy is solidified. You know? So there's no way, there's no way for him to change. You know, it's not like uh, uh, an Israelite child is born and he's like, okay, he's the elect. No, he's not the elect. No, I changed my mind. He is the elect. Nah, nah, he's, he's not the elect. No, nah, you born you born the elect. You either born the elect or you born the damn. You know? You born the damnation. That's why we are we are the hopeful elect, man. We hope, we hope, we hope. We hope for that tomorrow in which Yahab Shimon Shah is ruling. That we are the rightful heirs, man. That's what we hoping for, man. That's our hope. That's what we that's what we have uh, to deliver us, man. Hope, faith, okay, mercy. That's our that's our way out, man. Not not FRNs, not crypto, not LLCs. You know, not shake junks. You know, titty bars, all that. Nah, man. How we gonna make it out? It's by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai coming back. I was shy my shot coming. You know? The Heavenly Father is gonna come back through his son and save his elect, man. That's something to look forward to. Okay, so let me go to Psalms 149. Beautiful. Right, so this is Psalms 149 and verse 1. Praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise in the congregation of saints. So that's why you constantly hear brothers say, okay, Rock the Yahweh, Rock the Yahweh Shai, call Halal Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay, the water Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Salakia Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, asking the Lord for, for forgiveness, thanking the Lord, giving praises to the Lord. You know, you know, we wish it for peace upon brothers, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, you know, say Shalom to brothers. You know, okay, peace, peace unto you, peace to you, peace be unto you. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem you know. Verse 2, let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Yes, yeah, so that's why we're giving all praise out of the glory to the Heavenly Father. He's the one who made us, man. We got to give props, man. We got to give props. It says, let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. You know, uh, hey man, us going out on the highways and byways is like it's like playing a beautiful song. You know, it's basically considered a beautiful song. It's like it. Alright, and it reads verse 4. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. So that's all the Lord takes pleasure in, his people. He's he not taking pleasure in most of these people. They're not living, they're not living a life in which you would, you know, in, in which you would look at these people and say, okay, they're doing a good thing. People, hey man, these people would rather run across the street. You saw you saw the nigga on the camera. He running full speed, trying to get by him. But you already ear you already within eye shot. You didn't already seen a man out here teaching words, yeah by shooting out shots. Really, you you threw it. I can tell by the way he ran, he was a good one. That unathletic ass run. Alright, it says verse six. Let the high praises of Yahweh, Baha'i Shem, Yahweh Shai, be in their mouth 
a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the, upon the people. Right, so using these scriptures. Verse 8, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. That's coming, man. That's coming very soon. To execute upon them the judgment written. Right? And what, what's part of that judgment that's written? Hey, the book of Obadiah, the book of Isaiah. You know, all, all of all of you know the books in this Bible. You know, all the different instances, in one way or another, speaks about uh, Esau Edom's downfall. Right? In one in one way or another, because if you're speaking about Israel being raised up, that means Esau can't be up here with us. He has to be brought down to a lower state. Okay, you can't have you can't have two number one. You can only have you can only have one number one. Okay, and the one number one is the people that are on that are on this side right here. This is the top nation of people here upon the earth. Right, the children of Israel. Let me, uh, let me go to one fifty. Psalms one fifty and one. Praise you, the Lord. Praise Yahweh Shemayashai in His sanctuary. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. And everything that hath breath, praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. So, especially in that day, you know, in the day in which, you know, the Lord has his dominion over the kingdom, everything's going to be rejoicing. The birds, the birds going to be tweeting. You know the trees are gonna, trees are gonna sway back and forth. You know happily. You know, hey man, the, the, the Israelites are gonna be calling out to the Lord. You know, especially when we, when we see our Lord, man. When we see our, when we see our Lord, man. We are gonna lose it. We gonna fucking lose it, man. We gonna be like, man, you know. <laughs> We're going to be all around them. Like, yo, you know, like this. Hey, man, it's the Lord. You know, it's the Lord, man. Oh, this, this is wild, man. We're going to have tears in our eyes, you know. You know, happy tears, man. Like, oh, man, this, you know, this is what we, it's going to be greater than we ever imagined. The Lord's will, we're up that number, man. That's what we have to look forward to, man. Hey, man, the, the Lord coming back. Being in the being in the presence of the Lord, man. It don't get it don't get no better than that. Being in the presence of the Lord, you know. Being a part of this great, great, and in, 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 you know, just perfect work. Like, how about Shemayah Shai is perfect. His ways are perfect, you know. So it's beautiful to take part. It's beautiful to take part in this. To take part in this truth, man. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the notes. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 8, and I'm going to start at verse 1.
Now of the things which we have spoken this is the sum. We have such a high priest, right, which is the Hawashai, who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens, right? How? He he exists. A minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched and not man. Right? So hey, it's it's spirit and power behind by Shemi Al Shai that dwells within you, sincere Akio, you know. Says verse three, for every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices. Wherefore it is of necessity that this man have someone also to offer. So you know he, he wouldn't be the most high son if he didn't have to sacrifice. You know? Okay, he is the premier high priest. Okay? So of course he, he had to sacrifice. He had to sacrifice what? He had to sacrifice himself. He had to put he had to put himself in that position, ultimately to be killed. Right? So in that that inspires us. That's part of the inspiration of why we're out here. You know? We see what the Lord did for us, man. We see, you know, we can we can we can envision it. Our Lord painfully. Our Lord painfully being put to death. You know, for us, you know, for for his, for his elect, you know, Lord's will of that number, Lord's will, you should say brothers are of that number. You know, he died, he died for us, man. He died for us. We got to get away, man. We got to go hard for him. All right, and it says... Verse 5, it says, You serve unto the example the shadow of heavenly things. As Moses was admonished of Yahweh Shemel Shah, he was about to make the tabernacle for a seat, saying he, If thou make all things according to the pattern showed to thee in the mount, Right? So we set up with the, with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay? It comes from these commandments. You know, these laws, statutes, and commandments. These are things that have been, you know, given to us as a gift. <clears throat> this is our guide. This is our guide. Guidelines. Our manual, so to speak. Tuakia. Verse 6. But now have he obtained a more excellent ministry. By how much also is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established unto better upon better promises. So you all you niggas talking about the, the, okay, that that you you establishing the new covenant, you saying that you Yahweh Shah. Basically. Because in order for us, in order for that new covenant to be here, us being in them new bodies, right? Hey, Yahweh Shai had to die on that cross, man. And also, Yahweh Shai has to come back. Okay? We can't be in that new covenant until Yahweh Shai comes back. So all you niggas talking about the new covenant, okay, the Mississippi Madmen, the Lord ain't working with you, and if you don't repent, okay, in the name of Yahweh Shai, you're going to be destroyed, man. It says... Verse 8, for finding fault with them, he saith, Salakia, Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 7, for if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel, and with the house of Judah. It's so basically you saying that you in that time. Okay, Miss, Mississippi, Mississippi niggas. Two, two, 
two niggas. to the covenant that, that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt because they continued not in my covenant and I regarded them not saith the Lord so by us being in the perfect bodies okay it's like basically hey once we in the new bodies it's like we never went off we not there yet though we not in, we not in the second covenant yet man huh? Okay, it says, verse 10, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind, and I will write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his name, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For all shall know me, from the least to the greatest. So we, we, we're not going to be in the kingdom of heaven on the highways and byways prophesying. You know? We're going to be perfect in that day. Now, of course, you know, we're going to be speaking. You know, we're going to be speaking to different brothers. You know, one brother standing there and him speaking to, you know, a hundred hundred men listening. You know, but we're not going to be on the highways and byways. But you all gonna have men, you know, you all gonna have men speaking, you know, certain testimonies. Alright, about how the Lord delivered him. Basically, hey, forever we're gonna be able to speak about the praises of Yahweh Shimon Shah, what the Lord has done for us, man. You know, and us being in the perfect bodies, we'll never we'll never run out of things to thank the Lord for. You know. Shit, even now in this flesh, we got thousands, we got hundreds of thousands. Millions of things to thank the Most High for, man. You know, starting off with, hey, thank the Most High, Yahweh Shimon Shai, for uh, having us. Having us to know His name, man. To know the name of Yahweh Shimon Shai. That's beautiful in and of itself, man. Alright, it says... Hebrews 8 and 12. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. So us being perfect is going to come with the Lord forgiving us of our sins, man. All, all the abominable things we've done, all the horrible things we've done here, down here on the earth, man, will be forgiven. You know? Jake don't want to be forgiven of his sins, man. Jake, Jake want to live in his sins. Jake want to, you know, party and bullshit. Right? Not, not wanting, ultimately, uh, to be forgiven. Right, because forgiveness is powerful, man. You know, one of the one of the greatest feelings in the world is to be forgiven for a mistake. And just like Jake do, you know, Jake Jake get forgiven for a mistake, and Jake go right back to bullshit. That's why we need the Lord to come back, man. And we just going to be repeating the same cycle, man. That's where the Lord comes in. Okay, to, to put an end to this damn thing. To squash this, this hamster wheel, so to speak. Verse 13. And what he said... Chapter 
28 and verse 13. In that he saith, a new covenant he hath made the first old. Now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. So, you know, once, once that second covenant comes into play, us being in the new bodies, us having the laws, statutes, and commandments written in our inward parts, that old covenant is going to be done away with. You know, it's not, it's not going, it's not going to be no need for it, man. Okay, because we, we were supposed to live righteously. What do we do? We turn against the Heavenly Father. Man. Okay? So what happened? We were, we were beat, robbed of our heritage, right? Hey, and, and even, even before that, you know, even before that, you know, our Lord coming on the scene, you know, basically speaking about these things happening, speaking about Israel going off. And ultimately needing a mediator, needing somebody to come, you know, which was and is him. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 1. Then, ver then verily the first covenant had also ordinances of divine service and a worldly sanctuary. There was a tabernacle made, the first wherein was the candlestick and the table and the showbread, which is called the sanctuary. And after the second veil, the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all, which had the golden censer and the ark of the covenant overlaid round about the gold, wherein was the golden pot that had manna and Aaron's rod that budded the tables of the covenant. And over it, the cherubim of glory shadowing the mercy seat of which we cannot now speak particularly you know, our, our Lord is coming back man our Lord is coming back man that, that's when we're going to be that's when all this is going to make 100% full sense man These things with us ordained, the priests went always into the first tabernacle, accomplishing the service of the hour by Hashem Yahushai. But into the second went the high priest alone once every year, not without blood, which he offered for himself for the heirs of the people. So the, the highest priest is Yahushai. So what he do? He he want, he once and for all in one in one um, in one swoop, so to speak came down here and was sacrificed, okay, for ultimately for the elect, not all of Israel, you know, technically, but, you know, for, for the elect of Israel. It says, verse 8, the Holy Ghost, this signifying that the way into the holiest of all was not yet made manifest, while as the first tabernacle was yet standing, which was a figure for the time then present in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect as pertaining to the uh, conscience. So, you know, us going to the tabernacle, you know, sacrificing the lamb, you know, us giving our choices, uh, you know, cattle, and things like that. Our Lord coming on the scene, man. Okay. That's that's how we're gonna make it out. That's you know that sacrifice. Us speaking on us speaking on that sacrifice. Us speaking on the how about Hashem how to shine. Verse ten, which stood only in meats and drinks and divers washings and carnal ordinances imposed on them until the time of reformation. But Hamashiach being come in high priest of good things to come. By a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, right? Which is the men. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. And that's why the Lord uh, calls us to drink his blood and to eat his flesh. Not literal, not in a carnal sense, but for us, uh, but for him to be within us, man. Yeah? You know? 
Verse 13, for if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the unclean, sanctifying to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of a Mashiach, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to Yahweh shall purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living power? Right, so he, he never sinned. He didn't deserve that, but what did, he, what did he do that for? He did that for his people. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. So because of that specifically, right? Now he is, he is the son of the Most High, okay? He is, the, he is the son of the Most High, but that's one of the most important things that he did. Not only coming and teaching, you know, the, the men of the Lord, but him sacrificing himself. Okay, that's really the that's really the most important act that he did. Is put himself on that cross, man. Well, to be put on the cross. So I, it says, and for this cause he is the mediator of of the New Testament, that by means of death. For the redemption of the transgressions Like it. that were under the first testament they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance that's the, that's the second covenant us receiving that internal inheritance by what? by being perfect by the Lord putting those laws, statutes and commandments in our inward parts that's us coming into that's us coming into perfection you know so that so that we can live the life that we were always supposed to live Verse 16, for where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the, te of the test testator. For a testament is a force after men are dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the te testator liveth. Whereupon neither the first testament was uh, dedicated without blood. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law, he took the blood of calves and of goats with water, the scarlet wool and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the testimony, like, this is the blood of the testament which Yahweh Shemal Shai hath enjoyed unto you. Moreover, he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry, and almost all things about the law purged with blood and without shedding of blood is no remission so you know he was basically symbolizing what how Shah was to, uh, to come and do you know and, and, hey man it, it started off us you know uh, sacrificing you know the, the goats without uh, or Salaki, the, you know sheep without blemish you know hey how shy was it is that that um, you know that that sheep without blemish, so to speak, you know? Okay, he's perfect. He never did. He never did. He never did anything to deserve what he went through. Yet that's what he went through, man. Verse twenty-three. It was therefore necessary that the patterns of things in the heavens should be purified with these, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. So in order to 
make a, a proper sacrifice. Uh, sacrifice, hey, the Lord sacrificed himself for who? For his elect. You know? It says verse 24. For Hamashiach is not entered into the holy places made with hands. Let me read that again. Hebrews 9 and 24. For Hamashiach is not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are the figures of the true. Yeah, so these are just figures of the true. When you look at it, when you're looking at a church, that's just a physical uh, building. You know, it's about the men, it's about the it's about the Israelite men teaching on the highways and byways. That's the church. Okay? You looking at a you just looking at a fucking building. And you looking at a church, you know, all the all the high walls, you know. And I've been to um you know in New Orleans they got the I forget what the church is, you know, the big ass church. You know. It's just a building. There's no significance to it. Alright, it says That was beautiful. I gotta read that again. Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 24. For Hamashiach is not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are the figures of the truth, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of Yahweh Shemiah Shai for us. Alright? So, A, hey, A, hey, into heaven itself. The elect. Presenting himself as a living sacrifice for the elect, man. Nor yet that he should offer himself often as the high priest entered into the holy place every year with blood of others. So he did it one time, man. For then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world. But now, once in the end of the world, that he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. So him dying on that cross, man, that's really the beginning of the downfall of this place, man. Verse 27. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. So Hamashat was once offered to bear the sins of many, right, the elect, and, un and, and, and ultimately all of Israel, right? And unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin, unto salvation so he's gonna come back perfect again man. he's gonna just 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 like he let just like he he came into this world perfect he left perfect he's gonna come back perfect man he's gonna come back in his full power man and it speaks in the scriptures about how he says he will not meet thee as a man the lord is coming in his full glory man it's beautiful you know and that's something to look forward to you know you brothers man keep looking forward Yahweh Hashem Shai returning, man. Okay. So with that, all right, Lord's will. All right, you should see your brothers out there. We're edified. All right, this has been another camp. Okay, down here upon the earth, in, in wicked ass Babylon the Great. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. D D T A D T A D T A. Okay. Uh, and, and before I end this video, I'm going to turn, face to peace, and give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Kakwadash. Right? Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone once again, who rule well, teach well. And sincere salutations to you, hopeful elect. I came out there who are pushing this word in sincerity and in faith. And Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Kakwadash. Watch over you, brothers, man. You brothers, hey, stay pushing. Hey, understand that the Lord is coming back, man. He's cut. Hey, He's coming back for His faithful witnesses. We have to stay faithful. We have to continue to witness. You know, may Yahweh Shemayah shine have mercy upon you, brothers. May Yahweh Shemayah shine have mercy upon me. You know, if I'm going off, may Yahweh Shemayah shine forgive me. May Yahweh Shemayah shine correct me. You know, 
uh, put us in the right path. The spirit power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, this is your brother Gawar Ara. May Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai destroy this damn place, Babylon the Great, aka America. Okay, DTA and the Baba Ball very, very, very soon. All right, Shalom.